If you've ever wanted to learn some key tips to wine and food pairing, we are here with one of Napa Valley's most famous vintners, and he's going to share some of his favorite tips. Thank you so much for joining us, Tor. Yeah, but you're giving me far too much credit. I learned these tips from Julia Child and other Madeline Kamen, who are the great teachers. Yeah, you were friends with Julia Child, right? I, I happily had many, many fun experiences with Julia that uh, are, are very memorable but she did teach me the basics about food and wine okay. al along with Madeline and uh, that's what we're going to explore right here. I can't wait. So now let's, let's keep it as simple as we can mm -hmm. uh, where we're going to really play with our three fundamentals and how they play with certain food types. Okay. One is acid. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of lemon. Lemon juice. And we have some crab right here. Mm -hmm. Is have the crab with the lemon mm -hmm. and without the lemon. Now as you try that, what the lemon does, and lemon loves crab as we mm -hmm. all know, mm -hmm. is that it, it actually makes the, the wine taste in a positive way, almost fruitier, maybe yes. a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. uh, so it enhances the wine. For sure. Uh, so a little bit of uh, acid with, with this can actually make a white wine a little bit more voluptuous. So acid and white wine. A little bit okay. of acid and white wine in the appropriate amounts. Okay. The secret sauce to wine and food combinations might lie in salt. Oh, okay. Especially with red wine. With red wine. Yeah. Okay. What does every steakhouse in the United States, successful steakhouses, what do they have in common? What do they put on their meat? Salt and butter. Bingo. Okay. <laughs> The, the butter adds a little bit more fat, mm -hmm. which red wine likes, mm -hmm. and the salt really, I can't tell you how many times I put a little bit of salt on my, like that, and taste that, taste it. just to taste it when I have a really rugged red wine, mm -hmm. and it softens that red wine on up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, red wine loves a little bit of salt. I put some potato chips there too because oh, you're not kidding! Mm -hmm. It's amazing mm -hmm. uh, for somebody that's you know to add a little wine tasting, something with a little salt like potato chips off to the side with red wines. With the red wine in its key. Try it. Just something that simple. Okay. It's it's so so simple. Julia knows her stuff. She mm -hmm. does, and Julia would probably have a little caviar as we put here with the uh, potato chips. So oh, I love that. That might be a Julia touch. That, that's right a there. decadent Julia touch for sure. Uh, <laughs> everybody talks about red wine mm -hmm. and chocolate. I'm not a big fan usually, especially if it's a really sweet bar of chocolate, okay. like a milk chocolate this or whatever like that. I have a milk chocolate right here, which is okay. only 45% uh, cacao. It's That's pretty low for a milk chocolate, actually. Yeah, uh, but in there you have uh, usually a lot of sugar. Oh. Sugar and red wine don't like each other. I, really? They so desserts roar. and wine, no? Not dry red wine. Okay. okay. Now, uh, maybe a fruitier wine, mm -hmm. a dessert wine and desserts can work together. But mm -hmm. if you're going to do the chocolate thing, pay my secret to that is pay attention to how much sugar is in that chocolate. So this is sugar free basically. It, it <laughs> tastes pretty one. sugar free, the dark doesn't it? One. Yeah. Now, if you taste that and you taste the uh, the one with a little bit more sugar in it, I think you'll find the red wine will like the one with less sugar to yes. it. Yes. Well, this paired beautifully. There you go. You can do it. <laughs> it is possible. Well, well, thanks to you, now I've learned all the foundations of a perfect wine and food pairing party. Thank you so much. I Cheers. think we could have a party. I think so. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.